<laughs> hey. Hey, girl. I didn't even hear you come in. What's up? Not much, girl. How you been? Uh, hello. You hear me talking to you? What? You don't see me texting? Texting? Texting who? <laughs> Jeremy. You know he my man now. We've been together for six whole weeks. And it's been the best six weeks of my life. Honestly. Truly. I'm smitten. <laughs> okay, so when are you going to get his name? What do you mean get his name? Get his name tatted is what I mean. Get his name tatted? Like why would yes. I do that? We've only Cause... been together for six weeks. That's crazy to me. Because it's not real until you tat it. You know that, right? Real? So if I don't get it, it ain't real? No. Like Rick Ross say, tat to my name so I know it's real. You got to tat it, sis. Girl, I am not doing that. Crazy. Girl, whatever. Tat my name on you, girl, so I know it's real. Tat my name on you so I know it's real. I'm a big deal. I get sick and tired of holding it in. Which blood, you can probably see the cord in my skin. I'm more than a girl, won't let the troubles of the world come away what's up y'all welcome back to resilient me tv and i'm back with another video i know it's been a minute i haven't posted a video in like seven months but your girl is back okay excuse me okay that was my alarm okay but your girl is back and today we're talking about does tattooing someone on your face getting a tattoo with someone does that make it real or is it fake because i don't okay so it's all been all over like social media of Krishan getting a face tattooed on her. The latest this young lady got Kai Sinet on her face. I saw Selena Powell had got a tattoo on her face. And it's just like there's these other people, the island boy girlfriends and got tat faces on them. Like it's just like people are going crazy and putting tattoos of people's faces on their face like it's a trend. That I want no part of because I don't want nothing taken away from my face. Because when you do that, it does take away from your beauty. Like these girls are very pretty young ladies. And it's taken away from their beauty. And you don't see no men putting no lady face on their face. Only us women is doing that. Girl, we got to get it together, okay? Like it's just crazy that that's even happening. Because to me... It's coming off like kind of like idol worship. Like you idolize this person so much that you want to put them on your face. You want to show your loyalty so much. You want to make a statement. So you put in their face on your face or tattooing their name. But for my personal experience that I've seen, I don't have any tattoos. But people that I have known that have gotten tattoos of people, they're no longer with that person. And I know we know countless people. We don't see celebrities do it. Regular folks do it. Family members do it. Friends do it. It's like sometimes when you get that tattoo, it's like you're signing your separation papers. Because <laughs> it's just like every time somebody get a tattoo of someone's name, I think, oh, they ain't going to be together much longer. And they don't. And sometimes maybe they may be together for like another year or another few months, another week or whatever. And it's like it's just when you get that name, not saying there's some people that still probably with their person and name is tatted, but for the most part, generally speaking, from what I have seen, y'all will break up. And I say that because a lot of times people get names on them or like faces on them. It's like in a, it's you do that a point in a relationship when it's not solidified or it's not right because like. This is a Christian. She's not exclusively with Blueface. But I'm pretty sure she did try to get loyalty. Or to not get loyalty. But to show that she's loyal. To try to prove something. To make a statement. This girl that tattooed Kai Sinat's face on her. Which I'll probably insert somewhere in the video. She tattooed his name to get his attention. Okay. Little story time. So I did a stream with Kai Sinat like a year and a half ago. And realistically, I just want to expect him to look the way he looked in person. Like, he actually is cute as f Like, this little short mother cute as f He's packing. Okay. Then he cool as sh Like, he just, he just matches my energy. You feel me? And I can just see that a lot of y'all little bitty is 
doing little things that I did the biggest. I'm the president. So if Kyle doesn't accept this, I'm going to get his face on my face again. So Kai, I'm going to give you about 72 hours to respond back to this. Or I'm going to get your face tatted on my face again. As you can see, I have your baby face tatted on my face. I go all out when I love. And I'm in love like with this man, okay? So, if y'all can tag him for me and make it happen. So, since he didn't respond within the 72 hours, she went and got his face on her other cheek, his other face. She had the baby face and then she got the grown face. You know, she got all faces. And it's like, you're not even in a relationship with this guy. She's saying she's in love. <laughs> they said she streamed with him a year ago. You know, you haven't seen this person in a year, but you're in love. And, you know, you realize he's more attractive in person, which he may be. Most people are more attractive in person. You know, and now you want to have some form of relationship with him or interact with him. But instead of going about it the traditional way, which she might have, and it may not, might not have worked out the way that she wanted it to. So to really get his attention, she's going to go to the extreme. And it's like people in our day and age now go to the extreme. Like, there's no middle ground. People are not like, oh, I'm going to, you know, casually do X, Y, and Z. No, they're going to go balls to the wall. They're going, that's probably not a good analogy. <laughs> But they're going hard and going to the edge <laughs> to prove us to make a statement to, to to make a claim to be go viral to be seen going viral is not something that it has longevity if you don't play it right it's not something that you can like you know, when you pass on in your obituary, they're going to be talking about how you went viral on social media. It's not like something that's that's really going to be like an accolade. Going viral can help you, absolutely, um, to put you out there, to push a brand, to create wealth, generational wealth. Going viral has its benefits, but it shouldn't be what you live for. Like you do stuff for clout. You should do things because you believe in it, because it's fun for you, because you want to make this a real career. You know what I mean? And I just feel like some young ladies, some men too, were just doing things for clout, doing things to be seen. And it's like, but what what's being seen? Like, what message are you giving? Like, what stance are you taking? And I say all this with love. I don't say this with judgment. It's just crazy and just wild to me that like we have gotten to the point where we are doing this like where if i'm not tatting you it's not real this is me proving that i'm good enough for you to be with me this is me proving that i am worthy to be in relationship with you i am worthy for your loyalty because look how loyal i am i went and got your name on my face i went and got your face on my actual face and you don't have to do that to be with somebody. If you want to be with somebody and they want to be with you, that is going to be together. That's just what it is. If, if it has to be forced, then it ain't meant. If it's stressful, if it gets to a point where it's like too hard, where it's like hard for no reason, I'm, I'm not going to waste the energy. I'm not going to waste the time because time is something you can't get back. And now you don't got this tattoo. You may get to a point where you don't want it no more because y'all don't broke up or whatever. Like it, it ended badly and you don't want that constant reminder of that person. Now you either have to get it covered up, one, or get it tattooed over. Now, if you have a huge tattoo on your face that's like taking majority of your cheek, you don't want, you have to get something bigger than that to cover that. And now you got this big thing on the side of your face when your face was beautiful the way it was and the other option is to get it lasered i never got anything lasered but i imagine that would be painful but that'll be better than getting it a huge tattoo to go on top of it so it's just i feel sorry for those ladies because they may not see themselves as doing anything wrong or they're doing it out of love but it's more so being done out of the idea of love because if he was really 
in love properly and being loved properly, I don't think that would be a topic of discussion or something that you would even feel compelled to do. Because people are really in love and being loved properly, but they don't go tattoo faces. So that's just my thoughts. Comment y'all thoughts below. What y'all think? Are y'all in, agree in agreement that tattooing it makes it real? Or does not tattooing it make it real? What's your stance? What are your thoughts? Comment down below and I'll respond. I want to like have a little discussion with you guys. So, Also, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Tell everyone about Virginia Lee Me TV. And if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video because your girl is back. <laughs> Bye.